All right, everyone. Uh, we're here in match three with our quest for Ula's Temple deck. Um, we lost the die roll. Not looking good. Uh, no quest in sight. We do have a Sphinx. We have two lands. So it's so tempting, but we really need the turn one quest. <laughs> So I think we gotta we gotta try mulliganing mulliganing at least once. Um, uh, we've got the temple. We don't have a turn one temple, unfortunately. Maybe I. Maybe this these Holomar depths have been kind of screwing me over. Um, maybe we lose those. Maybe they're not super important. You can't even put things on the bottom. Um, you can just rearrange the top. So maybe for those of you thinking of building this yourself. Um, you know, finish the videos, see how I end up doing. Uh, but Halmar Depths might be a consideration. Maybe those are just better as basic islands. Or or maybe just not as many of them. Anyway, uh, so we want to draw into an untapped blue source, not a second Nykthos. So I think that goes bottom. We will see what our opponent's up to. Turn one thought sees really kills us, and that looks like what's happening. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I'm sure they take the temple here. Yep, there it goes. Oh, and we drew our island too. That's so sad. So unfortunate. All right, we'll play uh, Island and pass it back. We'll cycle a Riverwinder at the end of turn here. So two blue-black basic lands. I was thinking maybe Grixis Death Shadow or something. We draw into another island, uh, but maybe not. Um, all right, we'll go Augury Owl. Scry three. Okay, so... I mean, we have four lands, so the Sphinx is castable. Um, let's see. Yeah, so if we play a Halimar Depths next turn, then turn four, we can run out the Sphinx. Um... But that means we can only play a two drop. So, all right, so maybe we bottom the clock spinning. Um, we put that on top and then that on top. So plan is next turn we drop a Halimar Depths tapped, cast that Augury Owl that we are, or whatever, I think it was an Augury Owl that we just put on top. Um, and then turn four, we draw into the Sphinx, cast that. And then we're just on a Sphinx beatdown plan. <laughs> Snapcaster into Thoughtseize. Yep. I guess they take the Striped Riverwinder at this point. Would make the most sense. They took the Leviathan, eh? They fear the Leviathan. All right, so Halimar Depth tapped. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, so we have four lands. Uh, I don't think we need the island per se uh that's uh that's kind of nice she's castable at least maybe we put the island oh we can only rearrange i see and this augury owl is gonna scry uh so it doesn't matter any order's fine. Um, we'll cast the Owl 
Now we're scrying. Okay. So I think island to the bottom and then Sphinx on top. And I mean, Thassa's castable. We're, we're kind of on that plan at this point. So I think we want the Sphinx first and then Thassa. So we'll put her on the top and then the Sphinx on top of that. Pass the turn. Fatal push. Serum visions. Snapcaster beatdown. All right, so we'll drop this Nykthos. Cast a Sphinx. Uh, and pass the turn. <laughs> so... Totally different game plan at this point. We'll see what happens. Oh, what they just hit me with? Cast down. Destroy target non-legendary creature. Okay, that works. Definitely works. Snappy beats. Drawing into that Thassa now. So, go ahead and cast her. And then we'll pass the turn. Yeah, pass the turn. They field of ruin the Nykthos. Uh, sure. We're just gonna get killed by the Snapcaster. All right, so without Nick, though, so I don't see us casting Stripe Riverwinder anytime soon. Liliana of the Veil, sure. Um, do I cycle in response? No, because that'll bring. Oh, I don't know what's on the top of my deck at this point, right? Yeah, it was the Sphinx, and then it was Thassa. Uh, so I guess I'd rather just lose the Riverwinder and draw into whatever it's going to be. I was going to cycle it anyway, so. Okay. Scourge of Fleet seems terrible. Currently. <laughs> Another island. Uh, yep. So what are they playing? What have they been discarding? Inquisitions, uh, Damnation, Field of Ruin. Interesting. So this is kind of like, like a blue-black control. Sphinx of Foresight, that's castable. We'll keep that on top. Lily's just gonna make me uh, sacrifice it. But that keeps her from ultimating, ult ult ultimating? <laughs> Ulting? I suppose. So, there's that. <laughs> Yep, sacrifice a creature. Keep it on top. Seiko. They're out of cards in hand. All right, sack a creature. And Lily can't make me sack anymore, so... She will make me discard. All right, that's definitely a bottom. Sage's Row Savant, that's, it's something. And it sets up my, my draws. Uh, wow, both of those are terrible. Put on the bottom, put on the bottom. We'll pass the turn. 
attack the flooded strand. All right, search for Wisconta. Each player discards. Snappy coming in or no? Do you want to trade? Okay, I'll definitely trade. Let's do that. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Can I undo at this point? Ah, uh, not too late. I was gonna say have him having him stick around uh, gives me an option of creatures to sacrifice. For example, if I draw something good. How many, one, two, three, four, five mana? No, that's, you're a little too big, my friend. Put you on the bottom. A Thassa, <laughs> Thassa number two. Uh, that's unfortunate. Can't really get any value out of this. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Pass it back. So, opponent has zero cards in hand as well. Escanta has flipped. But Lily's live again in terms of uh, being able to make me sack things. And an island's not going to do it. Uh, I'll give it one more turn because my opponent has nothing in hand. They have an Escanta and a Lily active, though, so it. Uh, they are definitely, definitely, <laughs> and they just revealed a Jace. That's good enough. Um, okay, cool. We'll go to sideboarding. Let's see here. Blue and black. Blue, black, control. Um, I guess negates come in, maybe? Maybe like one Relic and one Echoing Truth. Relic hits their graveyard for Search and for Snapcaster. Echoing Truth can bounce Planeswalkers or whatever. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try that. And so maybe I go down on Thassa's. I go down on Scourge. Scourge. Yeah, maybe I could go down on those two. And we'll run it back like that. We'll see. If we could just, you know, get a castable quest turn one, that'd be cool. All right, definitely want to play first. Um, we don't have it, unfortunately. No sphinxes to scry either. I think that's a mulligan. All right, we got a quest. We got two quests, but no lands. Yikes. <laughs> mulligan again. Oh, this is so sad. So, so sad. We'll keep this. Uh, sure. Keep that on top. Pass the turn. Oh, what a disappointing league so far. I like tested this a few times. Um, like in whatever, the the uh, free to play. And of course it worked great there. I always had the turn one quest with an island or whatever. Um, I 
think, oh, I see. Right, right, right. We can't bottom things. Well, in that case, we'll just make sure the open speaker's on top. Pass the turn. All right, Owl digs deeper, so we'll lead with that. Um, are we on the temple plan at this point? Like, do we spend our time digging for the temple, or do I just like keep lands and, and sphinxes and, and try to hard cast things? Maybe we do that, I suppose. Um, so we want to draw the land. Put on top, put on top. Uh, we'll pass. Snapcaster hits the Thoughtseize, they steal the Omen Speaker. Okay, there's our land. Uh, did we get aggressive? Let's get aggressive. Uh, sure. Why not? We're winning, right? They're at 15, we're at 20, that's how this game works? Clearly winning. <laughs> Shock themselves for Kalidas. Okay, so we know we have a Sphinx coming, which we can't cast right now. Um. Continue to be aggressive, why not? All right, so we don't know what's coming up next. Fatal push, all right. If it's a land, we can cast Sphinx. Hopefully it's a land. Oh yeah, come on in. No blocks. All right, it's a land. We're doing it. Take that. Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Well, so much. Goodbye, Sphinx. You served us well. All right, swinging in for a bunch, and they are gaining some life. Oh my god, we found the quest. Uh, a little too late. We'll just end this misery here. We'll concede. All right, so we're a solid 0-3 and 0-6 in games. I think we've lost all three matches in two. Um, so going well so far. Going, <laughs> going, going well. Um, all right, match four, match four. See you there.